Hi folks, John Cordisco back again. Round three of a tournament I recently played in the 136th New York State Championship. Now, normally I show games from top grandmasters and top tournaments, but I think I'm going to go a little bit of a detail on some of my games. This is round three. Round one, I won. I kind of lucked out in end game. Round two, I think I could have done better, but I managed to draw. So this is round three. So, so far I'm one and a half or two. Not a bad start. Anyway, Brian Clark is white, and I'm black. We're roughly rated about the same, 1450, 1460 when this game was played. And I'm my usual Scandinavian. D4, queen takes, knight c3. Now, queen a5, queen f5 is usually what goes here. I just went back and brought the queen back. It's not the end of the world. I just wanted to simplify it a little bit. You went knight to f3, and I went c6. Now, that's not the move at all, according to the computer. g6, e6, knight to c6. I went c6, and that gave him a huge advantage already. He's already got a point and a half. So, c6 is proper in the Scandinavian, just not in this position. It's proper when the queen is here. That way it stops this nonsense. But unfortunately, I did it anyway. Bishop e2, which I thought was a pretty tame move. He's just he's just developing and developing. It's pretty timid. And I decided to go with a fee and kettle. Dark squared bishop on the king side. He went bishop b3. G7. Now he went h3, and I was really surprised because I don't think this bishop here is that big of a deal. And with a fiam cattle bishop, I can put my bishop here. But he won h3 anyway. I castled. He castled. Small advantage for white, about a half a pawn. I developed my other knight. He went queen to d2. And I picked one of the computer moves, which I'm um, easy enough to figure out. Knight to b b6. And I'll give you some of my reasoning. I think this knight controls a lot of key squares. I need somewhere for my bishop to come out. So that was a choice that I made. Bishop, or excuse me, b3. That one, I have no idea why he did that. I really, truly don't. But he did. Move my knight right up to d5. Hoping he'd exchange. This knight, this pawn, that knight's in a really good spot. Nothing can bother him. He took, I took. Bishop to h6. Of course, you're not going to take. If you do, queen takes. Then the knight comes in, and it's just a disaster. Bishop f5, just to develop. He took, I took. I'm looking at my friend's computer off screen. A little over half a pawn advantage for white, nothing major. I think I'm fine. He played knight to e5, and that's a damn good spot for that knight. Now, the computer wants me to play f6, but I really didn't want to do that right now. And I looked at it for a while, and I saw no really a viable alternative. So I went f6 to kick the, the knight. The knight goes back. It makes this e-pawn a little backwards. Queen to d6. What to do? What to do? Bishop d3 is, is the choice of the computer. He went c4, kicking the knight. Now, believe it or not, I have a small advantage. The choices are knight to c7, knight to f4. Computer actually likes knight to f4 a lot. And I probably should have played that. But I decided to go c7 instead. Rook to e1. Rook a to d8. Now I'm going after this pawn, of course. The threat right now is pawn here. 
which will leave the rook and the queen to take the queen. So he's got to move his queen or move the rook to d1, which I probably would have done. But he decided to move the queen instead. And this is a move, I don't know why I did it, frankly. I really don't. And to this day, I've gone over this game. I don't really recall why I did it. Rook to f7. I have no clue or idea what to do. Or why I did that move. If I had gone knight to e6, that's the computer suggestion. After c5, queen c7, bishop c4, and I'm really okay. It's basically a uh, even position. He went rook a to d1. And I just moved the bishop back. But right now he was in the way. He's going to start getting harassed here. Uh, it's a move I look at and and wonder. Queen a3 was probably a better move than after knight. Bishop c8 then, and then rook d2 would have been okay. But after bishop c8, he's got almost a point advantage for white. And at this point, I'm pretty disgusted. I'm thinking, well, you know. Round one, I got a little lucky. Round two, I played okay, but missed, I think, a winning rook and pawn ending. So now I'm thinking, oh boy, here we go. C5. Now that one, I thought, I didn't care for that move for him very much. And that's the second choice of the computer. Queen A5 was the computer's first choice. After C5, Queen F4. Now that queen's out in the open. Let's start getting harassed here. Going bishop c4, hitting the rook. And I just want knight to d5. So that's a good spot for that knight. But then my opponent pulls a miscue that we've all done. Hopefully not a lot. But we've all done this. And sometimes you get looking at a game, and you think of different moves you want to do. Maybe double up the rooks here, here, or maybe move the queen back, or bring this rook over, put pressure here. He gets the move order mixed up in his mind and goes rook to e2. And that hangs his queen, as you can see, here. And I looked up at him, and I took his queen. And he resigned. Not only did I win his queen, but I'm also forking both of his rooks. He's going to get the exchange back here, but it doesn't really matter. And he was pretty disgusted. I don't blame him. But that's the way it goes sometimes. Uh, granted, this wasn't a very good game, but I couldn't leave it out of the series of games that I'm going to show here. So that's it for round three. Now, I will have to say, the games in round four and round five, for my level of play, were great games. They were hell of a games. It was, it, was, it was very interesting. Those games are probably the best out of the group. Round four and round five, which will be coming up soon. Like I said, this wasn't much of a game, but, hey, it happens sometimes. I had to show it. Anyway, folks, that's the game. And as I always say at the end of my videos, if you think chess is just a game, you're not playing it right. Take care, folks. Bye-bye. And look out the next few days for round four and round five. Take care.